Welcome to Drive Time with KJ. I'm your host, KJ Bell, and this is the show where I get in my car and I drive around and I complain about things. Today, we're talking about why haircuts are awful. Here we go. Now I know, it is, I am filming this in June of 2021. So we've just come through a period of time where not a lot of people were getting haircuts, myself included. My hair was, uh, uh, it got a little cray cray at times. And I wish I could say that was just a pandemic phenomenon but it's not. I tend to let it go for a while because I don't like going to get it cut. Mostly, mostly because I, I don't know. I don't, well, there's a few things. I used to, before I moved down here to LA, I used to go to this barber shop all the time. Here, I, the places I've gone, it, it's very clear. Like you walk up to a counter, there's an appointment or there's a, there's, they say, what can I do for you? And they put you in a line in a system, right? The place I used to go before I moved here, you just, you'd walk in and it was a barbershop and there was no clear, like people would be waiting. And I'd be, I was never sure if I was cutting in line or if they were waiting for a specific person, cause that was a thing. And uh, so, so some lovely lady would, would be like, are you ready? And I'd be like, well, yeah, but there's like, eight people over there the, who were here before me and none of them say anything so I assume they're waiting on somebody and then it's like why is no one waiting on her is she bad do I not know something should I should I wait for somebody that's not her what what, what huh anxiety inducing I didn't like it and it's like, is it just, is it just sexism that they're all waiting on the guys? Is, is that what it is? Is, am I, am I sexist for thinking she might be bad because everybody's waiting on somebody else? Is that where, what, what, to what extent does the patriarchy go? A, a, a trip to get your haircut should not cause that. And then you get in the chair and I, I never know what to tell them. I usually, I've, I, like there is the lingo. You can be like, I want a one on the sides and then I want a three on the top and I want it to fade into a four, right? Like that's the, you can throw those numbers at them. But I, I never really, I always have ideas. I'm like, I want to try this thing, but I don't know how to describe it. And I never have the foresight to bring a picture to be like this, I want this. So I usually say some variation of just take a few months off, whatever that means. But they figure it out usually. And then they start and th they talk and I and like, they talk to you and I just, I don't, I don't need it. Just cut my hair. I'm gonna, I'm going to tip you. I might even tip you more if you don't talk to me. I just, I don't want, I don't, I don't want to talk about how work is. I don't want to tell you what I do. I just, I just want to sit here and I, honestly, I kind of find it meditative, meditative, meditative. I kind of meditate when I get, when I do things like getting my hair cut and you t blabbing at me about whatever, just, I don't know, please don't, please don't. I don't want to be unfriendly and tell you I don't want to talk, but just part of the service industry is should be sensing these sort of things, right? Telling when, right? Right? That's my thought process anyway. There's no, yeah, you better run, you better run. <laughs> I like making them run when they jaywalk. Again, I feel like I say this every video. I don't mind if you cross when there's no one coming, but I'm clearly coming. And you have the hand, sir. I guess at least they were at a light. That's, that's a change. So they, they talk with you, and then sometimes they talk to you. I, I once got my hair cut by this lovely little Asian woman. And I only say that she's Asian because she had an accent, right? And I couldn't understand half of what she was saying to me. Normally, I'm, I normally I I am very good at at um, understanding people with whatever the accent was. But for some reason, I just couldn't get her. And so I just kind of kept nodding and saying, "Yeah, uh huh," which is not the thing to do when you're getting your hair cut. Probably not a good idea. But I had I had buzzed my own head before that, so she kept yelling at me, "It's not even! It's not even!" I know. 
I'm sorry. That's why I came to you. It's been months. I just went. It's, uh, it's not even. Sorry. Sorry. Or they talk around you. I. I got my haircut, not long after a, a certain president did something, and a, a, a certain pre- forty-five, a certain forty-five did something, and. Uh, person cutting my hair I heard her talking to uh to somebody else to one of the other one of the other hairstylists and she goes I'm a fan but I don't know about this and it's not profiling that's actually what her accent was okay and I thought oh my god a a, a, a 45 supporter is cutting my hair this is this is homophobia and maybe I shouldn't judge her for that but I did I did Am I proud of it? Honestly, kind of. You can't usually see what they're doing either. And I I do understand why, because if you see something halfway through like that, it can be jarring. Think about, if you've ever watched an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, think about how weird it is to see them halfway through their makeup. It's just like, whoa, whoa, I can't see how this is gonna turn out well. And then they're stunning. I'm sure my hair halfway through a cut looks just horrendous. And I would not I would not trust. I already don't trust. Especially if you're talking about I'm a fan, but I don't know about this. And I you know, they usually have you facing some sort of TV and it's almost it's always sports. Why is it always sports? Why are they everywhere? Everywhere. You can't escape them. And then so they finish cutting your hair, then they turn you around. And they ask, what do you think? And what are you supposed to say other than, I like it, right? Half the time I can't really tell because I don't have my glasses on because I take them off because I'm not gonna get hair all over them. If I don't, I mean, what am I, what else am I supposed to say? Like, there's nothing I can do at that point. You can't glue my hair back on. I often wonder what they would do if I just burst into tears, but I can't really cry on command like that, so. I ne- so I never really know how good the haircut looks until I get into the car and then I do the th- in the mirror in the rearview mirror and that's not really the best way to see your hair. So that's it for this episode of Drive Time. If uh, you can think of any other reasons why haircuts are awful, go ahead and put them in the comments. I like seeing those. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe so you know when the next video is coming out. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm sure it'll be grand. I'm sure I'm going to complain about something. It'll be a delight and a treat. So yeah, do all that. Follow me on the, the, the social medias, that KJ Bell. And, uh, okay. May your drive be better than mine.